Podcast. Mike's Daily Podcast. Well, we haven't done one of these in a while. Why? Because Mike's been busy with stuff with life. You know that, how, how that is. Mike's Daily Podcast. It's ep- 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 episode 1860, 1860. This is Mike's Daily Podcast. It's been going on. It's been going on. It's been slow. It's been fast. It has started a trend in podcasting. Now everybody wants to do it because Mike invented podcasting. Wait, that's not true exactly. I guess I might be relaxing on a couch out here at Cafe Anyway, where everything is fun and grand and super and everything. Mike's Daily Podcast. Cafe Anyway. Hey, what I discovered this week is that my job takes over my life because people take over my life. Podcast. Hey, here's a question. Yeah. Is my job that difficult or are people not doing their jobs? Hmm? Hmm? Are people like going, hey, Michael, just do it if I shirk this off. I'm going to shirk. Here I go. I'm shirking. I'm shirking all the way and I'm not going to do my job. So Michael have to do his job, more job. More job of his and he's doing it, Mike. That's what's happening. Hmm? Hey, you know what? Life is easy when everybody does their job. But hey, how can I rephrase this? Okay, let's do it this way. If Mike was doing his job, that'd be great. But because Mike has people that... Work with him For him That don't do his job Their jobs Some do Some don't I'm not saying exactly who But some Are not And thus He doesn't get to do What's called His podcast When was the last time I got to do a podcast? Monday When it was so freaking hot The podcast picture today Is of Madame Rita Vega That's when I got to do the podcast Because I was forced to Because I was forced to go into Cafe Anyway Where we had a million fans going Until the power went out And then we got hot Now It's cooled down in the Bay Area And here's today's podcast picture Hello Michael Masio I guess I'm in the picture This is my Yes you are I like being in the picture Oh, Yes you do Huh You Me Like Nah Being Not really In the podcast picture But never Oh Alright yes you are Okay Hey here's a fun thing to do Just keep saying okay All day Okay What? That's not a fun thing to do? Eh Well, let's see What happened since Monday See, the power went out The power, it got hot The power got out for a while I get a letter Basil Oh, I had some really cool uh, Dang it Somebody at work the other day said You must really love your dog Because you got more pictures of your dog Than you do of your girlfriend And I said, well, I've known my dog longer than my girlfriend And I have taken more pictures Because I have had my dog for almost 10 years And I've known my girlfriend for a year I have taken more pictures of my dog Because I have had him longer Doesn't that make sense? Why would you even point that out to someone? How does anybody... What? Why do people think these things? Anywho, so I got this fantastic fortune cookie the other day. Fortune cookies taste like vanilla waffles, but they taste terrible. Hey, here's an idea. Let's go to the Chinatown in San Francisco, Chinatown, and go to that fortune cookie factory that's in that smelly alley in Chinatown where it stinks in this alley where it stinks because someone's dead somewhere in that alley. And we go there and we'll go to the fortune cookie factory Where I know they must be breaking all kinds of health codes But it doesn't matter Because they've been there for three centuries And that's because, you know, they can do whatever they want They grandfathered it in Let's go to that fortune cookie factory Where they make fortune cookies Oh, look at the slave labor Look at how they're doing that with slave labor Oh, but they got some broken fortune cookies. Those are called unfortunate cookies. 
Anyway, cafe anyway, I was at this cool China restaurant, Chinese restaurant. China, China, what's the appropriate way? I was at an oriental food restaurant. That's the PC way of saying it, right? And they had some magnificent food. It's in Hayward. I was there with my lovely lady friend, and we had some cute little fortune cookies. And they both said the same thing. And I don't remember what they were, but it had something to do with life and doing good things in your life. And maybe next, the next podcast, I'll have that fortune cookie. What that said. Because I found it inspirational. And this podcast is supposed to be inspirational to you. To get you off your duff and go drink some McDuff's and to go make life interesting and stuff. What ended up happening after... So it was so hot that we went downstairs into the basement of my house. My house has a basement and it do, it does... But it's got a window, so it's not entirely scary. And we go down there and sleep, my lovely lady friend and I. Because it's hot and it's been a long day and she can't go home because her carriage, the, the, the horses ran away with the carriage and somebody stole the carriage. I think it was one of the highway robbers, pirates, highway pirates that stole her carriage and drove down off into the caravan and took what? Robin Hood At any rate I'm stealing your money And giving it to the poor And I am Robin Robin Hood So she She stays over Because it's hot She can't make it home Because the place where she lives Burned up And so we We stay There In the coolness Of the basement That's how we spent Tuesday Hey The power went out too Did I mention that? Crazy, And then I get a letter from PG&E telling me, Hey, because the summer and the extreme weather, they blame it on, they blame it on the extreme weather. They blame it on Trump. Go ahead, blame it on Trump. I understand. There's some things we got to blame on Trump. But hey, just like we blamed Obama. But hey, let's, let's hone up PG&E. You're a horrible, horrible company And you can't do anything right This podcast brought to you by PG&E Horrible company And you set fires And allegedly kill people Allegedly As we go outside a cafe anyway We're bringing Mike's Daily Podcast Somewhere in Podcast Valleyton. Today we're in Podcast Valleyton. I saw the damage you did Allegedly In N- Northern California So Power, gas Electric, whatever your company is called uh, I understand That you are now going to Just for random times Take my power away You know what happened Last time that happened We got Arnold Schwarzenegger Because he said I will not let the power go out oh, Arnold And so you have to be aware pg e Your days are numbered And there'll be a write-in candidate called, oh, I don't know, Solar. Let's say Solar. And (laughs) Solyndra. I guess that's not going to happen. And you know what, though? We get what we deserve here in the Bay Area. Because everybody drives a Tesla. Every other person's driving one. And it pulls too much electricity. And the transformers blow up. And then the heat happens. And people turn on their air conditioning, which I don't have. And that blows everything up So we get what we deserve in California Hopefully your power system is rock solid I hear Texas has a good power system A power grid, etc Hey, listen to my show tomorrow morning I'm going to be playing music on KKDV You can listen at KKDV.com Or if you're in the Contra Costa County area Sort of east of the What's that? Tunnel? The Tunnel of Love The Solyndra Tunnel Not Robin Williams Tunnel The other one Not the Dumbarton Tunnel The Tunnel The big one If you live east of that You can hear my show If you're near Benicia You can hear my show Tomorrow morning 6 to noon Okay Listen What did we learn on today's show That people need to pull their weight 
If you are at work And you're looking at YouTube or What's that other one? Facebook If you're spending entirely too much time on Facebook Get the hell off Hey here's the thing Kim Commando Kim Commando is on I think she's on I'm, As this show is being broadcasted To your ear hole It Kim Commando is probably on Bloomberg TV Which I think she pays for that hour And she's been on TV forever I've Done the radio She was the first person to do a computer radio show And, and people in radio back then were going What's the computer? What's the internet? I don't understand this is a computer what the, this is, What's an email? I don't understand Radio no, Let's just push Rush Limbaugh on Rush Limbaugh Kim Commando what? Well she eventually took over a billion radio stations With this computer show Because she was the first one And now she's got a TV show I think she pays for on Bloomberg And then occasionally she throws it to Because she's a year older than me And she occasionally throws it to this guy This 30 something fat bubba Who sits there and goes yeah, fat bubba. You know what's trending on Twitter right now Hey Kim I'll tell you what's trending twi- 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 Trending on Twitter right now uh, Look at me I'm fat I got radio face I got a radio face Cause I look like everybody that's in radio Cause we sit on our butts all day And we're fat And we try and hide our fatness With our Goatees with that facial hair, but all he did is got his little goatee on a big fat face. It looks stupid. Hey, there's some people here at Cafe Anyway outside here. Let's say hi to them. Hello, my guys. It's Jolly. You are the gift supervisor. Oh my god, what's going on on today's show? Hi, Madam Rebecca. Hello there, Shirley. It's good to see you. Oh, yeah, it's good to see you too. Hey guys, I'm standing here in the middle of this Ooh, look outside here, cafe anyway There's a crane that caught the wind And it's flying and it's beautiful wings And it's this uncanny white color And it's flapping along I love the Bay Area because of cranes Michael Matthews, yeah, good luck Oh, that's right, look who else is here Let's say hi to them now This person that's also here Oh my, this is for the foreman and this is John Deere, the engineer, Mike. Yes, I've listened to Kim Commando for years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in fact, there was a guy I worked with named Dominic Wu. And he owned a computer store in Oxnard. And we, Ventura. And we, and I knew him back at KCSB, at UCSB. And I ran into him years later. And I was in radio. And he goes, hey, let's do a radio show about computers. And that never happened. But if it had, I'd be... A famous person today Hey Don't you love hosts of podcasts That keep going hey It's like a Harry Carey thing Hey hey, I'm so fat And I'm gonna I look at my little, little, little tiny little tea on my face It's so small Hey here's the thing Russians Here's a Russian now Here's a stereotypical Russian voice To talk to you And take us out of the podcast today Hello there. I am KGB stereotypical bad stereotype Russian. I am here to tell you that I endorse Trump. Trump wants to be president again, and I will make him president because he was pre- made president before because of his eyes. <laughs> hey, t- stereotype Russian. So Hillary's not running this time. And Putin hated Hillary We get that So why doesn't he endorse a Democrat? It's not like, you know, Democrats can cozy up to you Russians What the hell, why not? I mean, Democrats are vegetarians And you guys eat a lot of borscht And, you know, there's a lot of things in common So maybe you two should, you know, cozy up to each other Help the Democrats win this time Really mess us up Because you'll tick off the, the Republicans And maybe Glenn Beck will start hating Russians again Yes, okay but which Democrat would we want to win the election? Let's see. Well, Bernie? No. No, you don't like Bernie? No, he looks too much like Santa Claus without beard. Without what? Without beard. Okay. And then, how about 
Kamala Harris. No, she's woman. We hate women in Russia. Okay. Hmm. You could. How about Eric Swalwell? He's white. You guys are mostly white. And let's see. He's from Dublin. No, Dublin's an island. We hate Ireland. Ireland? Ireland. It's hard for Russians to say Ireland, huh? Yes. Yeah. Nyat. That means no. Yeah, nyat. Yeah. Okay. So, let's see. Uh, so, Eric Swalwell, you don't want to... Hmm. So, I guess it's Trump, huh? Yeah. Trump. Da. Ha ha. You remembered how to say yeah in Russian. Da. That's right. Da da. Happy Father's Day, Americans. Thank you. That's very nice. See, Russians are nice people. All right. We got a lot of Russians in the Bay Area, actually. I hope I didn't offend any of the Russians that may or may not listen to my show. (sighs) Look at the as the crane flies. And I think that's what we can learn from today's podcast about helping ourselves is look at the freedom of a crane as it flies and wafts in the wind. That's what we need is more wafting. And we need to shirk off the... Idiots in our world Just shirk them off Shirk them off Shirk them off And let's hear it for Taylor For doing a LGBTQ Etc Friendly uh, Song Apparently that's her next release It's called You Must Calm Down Or You Must Keep Calm Or something like that Hey and Pride is happening In the Bay Area I think Castro Valley Pride's coming up Hiding under Solar panels Solyndra panels To keep cool what do we got to do next? Next show, it'll be Benita, the Scrum Fiddle Player, and the Brewmaster. Thank you for listening to the show. Tell your friends about it and go to mikesdailypodcast.com. And here is Ariel to tell you more about that. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.